ladies, good evening and happy, happy, happy Friday, Friday, no, I'm going to say November, Friday, January 9th, 2015. I'm at my in-laws house, so the background is a little different. I'm actually in one of their bathrooms. It's a little more difficult to find places to sometimes record when you're over at other people's houses and you're not trying to be loud or, you know, kind of have them hear what you're talking about. And plus it's, it's late, it's 9.30. Uh, and we, they spent their time driving all day, drove to New York to get us and come back here and all sorts of stuff. That's a whole other story, but we are here in Virginia for my husband's birthday. Um, it was a birthday surprise to him and I am super excited. But the reason why I'm here late, and by the way, you, you want to get a cup of tea. I have my cup of tea here. Look at like Adele by the feeling in my spirit that this video is going to be long um but I had knew that there were a couple of different things that I wanted to do on the channel this year and one of the things was to bring more awareness to different things and in the infertility community um you know like when I hear about different things on the news or when I read about different things in the newspapers or if I hear about celebrities talk about it or anything like that to bring it to you and just you know make you knowledgeable about the different things that are going on in the world in reference to infertility um so earlier today I was reading an article in the Huffington Post that they posted on December 29th of 2014 about the 17 things um, not to say to people that are struggling with infertility. I was reading the article and there were so many things that they touched on that I totally agreed with. Like just things that I've heard personally or things that I've heard like other people comment to me and say that people have said to them. Um, but outside of that, the thing that sparked me to make this video right now versus when I was planning on making it, because you know how sometimes you feel like when you do something, you want it to be nice and fine and polished and, and beautiful and you know the lighting to be just perfect and for the sun to be just bright and things like that. Um, but I had to come to you in the moment because I was thinking about it in the moment. So here we go. So not so long ago, I was watching a video of a YouTuber that I subscribe to, a regular YouTuber, not, not a CTT um, YouTuber. And she was going over her 2015 goals, which she does every single year. Nice long video, beautiful video, broken down into five different points of all the stuff, you know, that she was planning on doing this year. Uh, she has been married to her husband, I believe, for about eight or nine years. I don't know the exact number of time, uh, exact number of how long it's been. Um, but over this time, of course, you know, people have asked her in the four or five years that she's been on YouTube about children. And she usually never talks about it. And when she does talk about it, she says, um, you know, it's just a personal thing. And, you know, it'll happen when it's supposed to happen. She doesn't really uh, expand on it. But as I was reading the comments on her 2015 goals, someone wrote something, excuse me, that just sparked something in me that said, you know what, you gotta make this video now. Um, because I think that people don't realize how insensitive that they can be. When it comes to infertility and when it comes to the things that people say, I know that a lot of people say things that are insensitive and they don't actually understand that what they're saying is insensitive or they don't know, you know, that what they're saying is mean or, or and unthoughtful because a lot of times when it comes to infertility, the things that we go through and the things that we feel are things that we don't share because it's considered like one of those kind of taboo things. You, do, you don't want everybody to know, you know, that you're having problems, you know, having a baby. So they're, they're thinking everything's fine. So when they're asking you these questions, they're not asking you these things to, you know, be mean or to hurt your feelings and things like that. But then there are those people who know and they just say the wrong things. Um, so I have no clue if she's struggling with any form of infertility or if she just wants to wait until, um, you know, later in life when she that. I don't know. Um, but the mere fact that someone could write this comment and have enough gumption in their soul, I was just like, oh no. All right, so I'm going to read you the comment and... In the 30 minutes of video that she did do on her goals, she never once mentioned anything about children or having children or family or anything like that. So why this person will write this? I don't know, but let me read it for you. I'm sorry one of your goals for 2015 aren't expanding the family. I hope you will soon realize the power and beauty of it and you won't feel sorry for wasted time. So I read that and I thought, first of all, 
who are you <laughs> to be telling somebody what should be on their 2015 goal list, okay? Who are you to say that expanding her family is not a top priority in her life? How do you know that she doesn't want to expand her family? How do you know that she doesn't already understand the beauty of it? And maybe she just, maybe she might be having some issues, you know? And I could just be a little extra sensitive to this comment, but I'm just thinking like people, people are doing too much. They're doing too much. She did a whole video on just her goals and you're talking to her saying, but oh, well, I don't want you to be, you know, I, I feel sorry for you that expanding your family is not on your goal list. Why would you say something like that? Why? I mean, and things like that are hurtful, you know? Um, and, and that I just think was one of those just like mean comments. But, but there are things that like, for example, I am at my in-laws house and um, they are most doubtingly, you know, most definitely... Uh, the people that we speak to on the phone and they always ask about children specifically um, and his stepmother always asks about children as of recently they've stopped um, but you know when you are on the phone with someone and they're asking you so when are you got baby you know coming something in the future you know so you got something you want to tell us you going to Toys R Us go to Disneyland you know when they when I understand that when she says things like that or when she asks things like that that she's not doing it in a mean fashion like she's not you know, doing it to, to hurt my feelings or anything like that. And she doesn't understand that, you know, maybe asking me all the time uh, could just really be just just not good. <laughs> um, but let me share with you some of the 17 things that the Huffington Post had posted and just my feelings on them. And I also want to talk to you about an article that I was reading about, uh, is her name Cora? Cora Jakes. I don't know if you know the big mega past of T.D. Jakes, but one of his daughter's names is Cora, and she's been struggling uh, with infertility. She adopted her first daughter. I'll post a picture of her in here somewhere, but she adopted her first daughter after she had a fill IVF because she has PCOS. Uh, earlier last year, she decided to go through PCOS. To go through PCOS, she decided to go through uh, infertility treatment again and do IVF again, and her second IVF failed. But I think that sparked, you know, the thought in me is that a lot of people feel like, you know, if you have enough money or if you have the perfect insurance or if you have this and if you have that, that life is going to be better and you can just do everything and get everything and the baby's just going to pop out because, you know, I would be thinking her dad is T.D. Jakes and he has mega money and she has mega money in her own right from doing the things that she's doing. So I yes, you know, this must be like a dime and it's just dropping dime just drop it on in there and bam um but it still shows that no matter what there's still are going to be struggles so you know you don't want to hope to be rich so that you can afford your infertility treatment and sometimes the rich people don't get it either you know you don't want to fault yourself for not having the perfect insurance and you can't get exactly what it is that you want because some of the people that do have it still don't get what they want so you know i say that just to say that you know Try to be happy where you are and know that where you're going to be in the future is, is going to be better than where you are now. That everyone has a part where they're, where they're starting from. Like that, what was that song? That little, started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now we're all the way, beep, 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 here. You, you get what I'm saying? Um, and I just thought that was interesting, but let me, let me share with you. I'm only going to share a few. I have my iPad here. Of uh, the 17 things, I'll just tell you the, the number associated with that particular thing. I'm going to leave the article in the bottom because I definitely would like for you to read it. And I also would like for you to share with me, um, not necessarily things that people have said to you, because we all have had things that people have said to me. Um, but instead, I'd prefer for you to share, you know, um, just kind of like words of, I don't, I don't want to say encouragement, but just words that people could say or, or what could help people who don't know what to say to people who are struggling with infertility versus seeing some of these things. So when people come and, you know, they're reading or listening to this video or they can look in the comments and see suggestions for how to handle certain things and things that you should say and things that you shouldn't say and things like that. Um, so number two on this list, you just need to stop stressing and relax and it's going to happen. I think we've all heard that at some point uh, if people know that you're having issues or if it just comes up um, and that's one of the most annoying things in the world like don't don't tell me to relax okay just don't, I don't like that don't tell me to relax don't don't do that um, and I mean, let me move this up a little bit 
child then this one it was so easy for me to get pregnant my husband just looked at me and I was pregnant that's number four and that's wonderful you know I wish my husband could just look at me and I get pregnant you know like he looks at me a lot so if I do that I'd probably have a million babies you know, like, don't say stuff like that <laughs> I said, don't say stuff like that I mean I know that that probably a jokey jokey and people try to you know say things to make you laugh but some things aren't funny um for example number 17 you can have my children if you want no no i i was um at this past august i was at a family a picnic we have a reunion and i was with one of my cousins she's married to well my cousin's wife uh, and I was standing there with her, and she has a beautiful daughter, absolutely beautiful daughter. She was just so nice and so quiet, and she was just sitting there playing in the little dirt with the sticks, minding her business, just being nice and quiet, not worried about nothing. Uh, she's about two years old, and um, she was standing there talking, and was like, so, when are you going to have children? Da, 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 da. So I was like, oh, what girl, when are you going to have children? You know, you have your little girl here, when are you going to have another one? And she just was like, oh, no. But the thing that killed me is that she says, well, you know, but what you need to do is you need to watch her for a day. And trust me, after watching her for a day, you're never going to want children in life. I was like, what? Why would you even say that about your own child? Like, I, why would you say that? Like, that's not the Like, I was just... I was just baffled and some people don't understand that you know like because when you're trying to have a child and that's your interest and that's your goal and that's what you want in life it's kind of hard to listen to people you know it's just like oh well, you can have mine don't you worry I got one for you you want to take it home with you you boy you may not want to take home because then you may not want the kids are so number 11 on their list was you don't know how lucky you are kids are expensive and a handful I don't know if people say that to you to make you feel better. Like, no, nah, don't worry about them. They're expensive. They're there's plenty of things that are expensive, like the rent, like your mortgage, like your cable bill, like <laughs> like your job is a handful. It doesn't make someone feel better. They're struggling with infertility that you tell them that they are lucky because they don't have that extra expense and you know the little extra handful. I mean, we've been trying for so long. We'd be ready for the expense. <laughs> like, we're ready for the expense. It's just crazy. And lastly, this one kills me. When, when you share your story with someone and you think, as a matter of fact, I know someone recently. I was reading an Instagram post, and I believe she posted it on Instagram. Um, so I'm quite sure she doesn't mind if I share it, but she posted it on Instagram. Uh, but her name was just Jess, and she was talking about how she shared her story with someone i don't remember the exact context of the story um but she shared her story with someone and how she was feeling about something and you know like she went very personal into her struggle with infertility and things like that and the person's response was just real ratchet like you know what i mean it wasn't something that she expected and you know how she felt and stuff. so sometimes you share your story and then people say the darndest things um so this one uh, number 15 says haven't you learned after five miscarriages that you should be done? Now, I don't know how I would respond to something like that. Like, I, I just can't even fathom the thought of someone saying something like that to me. I don't care if I have one miscarriage, two miscarriage, one care. Like, I don't care. Like, you just, like, those are things that people are not supposed to to say you just not you're just not supposed to say that you're not supposed to say that and then that's just really like i'm i would be surprised if the person just didn't get like punched in the face <laughs> because you don't say like say stuff like that and people treat things like they're just so insignificant like oh yeah the mascara job okay everybody has all this you know, you know it happens every now and then that's not that light you don't take things that lightly like, things like that are serious um but anyway there's a whole ton of things on this list I'd love for you to go read the article, comment below, and let me know your opinion on some of the things that you read there. I, I plan to do a video similar to this once a week about different things going on in the world about infertility, different articles that I read. Um, I hope that you take from this 
uh, just <laughs> I guess some of the funny parts of it but just to know that you're not the only one that people are are saying things or thinking things or, or, or anything that you've heard that you, you're not the only one that's heard it because I've heard it you've heard it these people here um, I have heard it uh, but definitely think of different ways to not want to punch people in the face that's the only way I could think of it because you know and this year, you know, my plan is to just be nice. Just be nice. I, I don't get too many of those comments because I don't speak on it a lot. Um, but when I do, you know, people give you that, oh, well, just be calm and relax and it's going to happen. And, you know, when someone says that, you just want to spot, you know, like the little bobbleheads. <laughs> so I'm working on my inner peace and getting it together. Um... But I just wish that people didn't have so much gall and so much gumption and feel like they could just say whatever and, and, and have your feelings not really matter, you know. And and like I said in the beginning, some of these people really don't. They, they don't know what you're going through. They don't understand. They don't know what to say. And sometimes they're just trying to make you laugh and they don't know that what they're saying is not funny. Um, but I hope this video finds it when good help. And I hope you're having fun because it's Friday night and you should be out partying like a rock star. Um, but I am going to take myself to bed shortly because apparently we have a very, very, very busy day. If you are not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe because it is free. And I will see you ladies in the next video. Here is my outro. In the front room. Unfortunately, the beta didn't do much. It went to 186, and there wasn't anything seen on the scan today in the uterus. Um, so Dr. Thompson reviewed everything. She wants you to stop the project. share with you the code for the 15% off the entire store the mug shop beautiful rainbow in the description box the code is heart 15 heart h e a r t 1 5 and that gives you 15% off the entire store uh, from January 9th until January 13th